What's up, my beautiful family? Happy New Year to each and every single one of you. I hope many blessings come to you guys this year. I hope you guys completely thrive this year. If we're being honest with ourselves, 2016 really sucked. I mean, we lost Princess Leia, and Donald Trump's about to be president. What the fuck? But regardless, it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning for me. It's a new beginning for this channel. And most importantly, it is a new beginning for you. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that after I tell you about this roller coaster of an LSD trip I had. Now, this happened about two months ago. The night began, it was me and my roommate. We worked together at the time. Uh, we were getting off work. For quite some time, I had felt the itch for a journey, and that night was just the night. So I went to go pick up two 200 microgram needlepoint LSD hits. Stop by, you know, pick them up. We're chilling with the plug, smoking some wax, hanging out, and then it was time to leave. You know, bada bing, boom, bam, see you later. I'm headed out the door, and he says, Yo, Icarus, rail this giant line of ketamine before you go. And I'm like, Don't mind if I do, and walk out the door, and we're headed home now. Now, let me tell you where we were going. We we're going here, home and a couple of my roommate's friends were gonna come over. And now my original plan was I was gonna take the acid, go walk around, you know, do me, go to Tempe Beach Park, blah, 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 blah. It's like, you know what, I'll hang out, get to know some people a little bit, why not? So we're driving in the car and oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, did I start canyoning so fucking hard. It was my roommate and his girlfriend in the front seat. I'm in the back, just all over this place, just like hanging on the seat, like, oh my God. And I was feeling fucking good, but I couldn't comprehend thought. My roommate kept trying to talk to me, and I was just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Flashback to the first time I took ketamine at that desert rave. We all know that wicked story, right? So that's pretty much what I'm going through. Just what the fuck? So we get to my house. I walk out like a drunken ape, come sit in the living room, and I fall onto the sofa. Now, when I fell on the sofa, it felt like I just like went wing, wong, wong, wee and like parked myself and I was like getting so dizzy. And so I popped the acid right there. I'm like sitting there chilling. Um, we're all vibing, you know, roll a blunt, we're smoking. You know, I'm getting my mind ready, getting prepared. I start to feel the acid, you know, barely creeping in. I'm talking, this is probably like 30 minutes after I popped the taps. Um, so when I start to feel like, okay, prepare for liftoff, my roommate's like, man, you took a lot of drugs today. I was like, well, you know, two hits of acid, some ketamine, smoking weed. Oh, and I got a beer. And then I was like, he's like, yeah, man, I've never seen anyone do that. Like, whoa, that's crazy. I was like, well, where the fuck you been, dog? <laughs> like, and he's like, let me tell you something. Do you need me to call the ambulance? I was like, what? And he's like, well, I mean, I'm saying, like, if you need me to call the ambulance, I will. I was like, no, dude, I'm good. And he's like, all right, I'm just saying, if you feel like you are locking up, you just let me know and I will call the ambulance. And I was like, <clears throat> I don't think it's gonna come to that point, dude. Like, and he's like, I'm just saying ever, like ever, if you ever need me to call the ambulance, you let me know. I'm like, bro, if I needed an ambulance, I would be screaming in your fucking face, I need an ambulance. I'm not gonna sit there and like, so I'm just like, I don't want to fucking hear this, you know? So like, okay, now this conversation goes on for a little bit. Now I'm really starting to come up on this acid, feeling it in my chest, starts spreading into my nervous system, I'm vibrating. And then he starts talking about work. And he's just like, you know, if I'm being a dick to you, just know that that's a boss. Like, that's not me as a friend. Like, I don't want you to take anything that happens at work here at the house. And like, blah, 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 blah. And he starts talking about this feud and that feud at work. And like, this person and that person and this and that and this and that. And do it, do do this. And you got to do this in the kitchen, bro. You make sure you do this. And you, oh, man, do not forget this. And ha, ha, dee, da, 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 da. So I'm just getting so anxious, dude. This last one, I'm like, you shut the fuck up. I'm like, but <laughs> and it's rude. So I'm just sitting there like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And one of his friends that were chilling with us, thank God for this guy, he just kind of chimed in, right? He's like, hey, um, I don't think he really wants to hear this while he's tripping. And I was like, yes, you're a god. He's like, I'm just saying. <clears throat> so kind of goes on about it a little bit more. He's like, in the end, just do this, 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 and this. That's all I'm saying. I was like, okay, cool. And um, bro, do you think there's like life in outer space? And I just like wanted to throw off like, 
throw that out there and maybe people will start talking about that. And sure enough, he did. He started talking about that. He started talking about his theories and like, you know, dimensions and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, I could fucks with this. So those conversations flowing for a little bit. Now I'm, now I'm happy. Now I'm seeing things behind my eyes, a, a psychedelic spider web folding into each other. I open my eyes. Now I no longer have the popcorn roof. No, I have this, the paint smeared, like the paintbrush. They painted it, but it's all becoming a lava lamp to me. It's all melting into each other, and I'm just sitting there blown away. The walls are like vibrating. Oh my God, the light. The light, the light, the light. The light was reflecting off of the white brick wall and it just made everything gold, dude. It was solid gold and it was fucking awesome. So now I'm flying high on Albert Hoffman's ride, baby. I'm loving it. And in the middle of all this, it's like, yes, I'm peaking. This is fucking incredible. Overcame that weird shit. Uh, my roommate's like, let's all go to the store. And I was like, yeah, so that sounds like a great fucking idea. Finally something cool. So we start to leave. I walk up to this painting, and it's like a painting of just an eye, like as if a light was hitting an eye, and it was like a painting of it. I was so blown away by it. I was like, oh, my God, this is the most incredible fucking painting I've ever seen in my fucking life. And then I was just sitting there staring at it for probably like 10 minutes. Everyone's getting ready, getting their shoes on, and go outside. And... Um, I'm like, this painting is fucking amazing, I just said it out loud. And then uh, my roommate's girlfriend was like, oh, thank you. No one ever notices it. It is a really good painting. I was like, literally loved it. Like, I wanted to fucking buy it off of her. Incredible. I wish I could show it to you, but it's in there. Um, so little I know, I was a bit, like, my eyes have seen nothing yet. Like, yeah, all this is cool, but what the fuck, dude? I stepped outside and the sky, bro. Oh, my God, dude. It gives me goosebumps right now. I'm even thinking about it. I walk outside. It was like the perfect night. It's like full moon. The whole sky was just lit up by the moon. So many stars were out and there was clouds. It wasn't completely cloudy, but there was clouds and they were so low that they were just moving in front of the like moon just so quick. It literally looked like one of those like fast frame videos where like all the stars are like spinning over the sky. Like that's literally what it looked like, but with clouds. And I was just like, ah. Oh, oh, oh. having a cosmic orgasm in mind, dude. And I was like, dude, this is awesome. I just can't wait to walk under this cosmic energy. This is so cool. But apparently, in my whole shock and awe episode, all these dudes decided amongst themselves, man, we don't walk. So I see everyone get in the car. I'm like, wait a minute. They're getting in the car. We're walking. I mean, are we Flintstoning it? I, I don't get how this, this doesn't tie into each other. I'm like, hey, guys, I thought we were walking. And they were like, no, nah, we decided against it. So I'm now like, oh man, I was right under the moon. This is cool. So now I'm in the car. I'm all claustrophobic. This sucks. And uh, I don't have anything I want from the store. I'm not hungry. Like, what? Well, I, I got beer at the house. Like, I'm chill. So I sat in the car. They got their purchases. We came back. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. So everyone's like going inside. I'm like, hey, Thomas, you know what? I'm going to go for a walk. And he's like, okay. Um, just like, are you sure though? Like, you're you are on a lot of drugs. I'm like, oh man, like I'm fine, dude. He's like, okay, well, you have your phone. Like, call me if you need anything, dude. If you need anything, do not hesitate to call me. I was like, okay. So, um, I start walking. Right, I'm just like looking at the sky. I'm just like walking in a random direction, just like walking, looking at the sky. Just like, oh my god, this is so awesome, so fucking cool. And I'm walking, and I turn down the street. And there were, now down my street, there's absolutely no street lights. It's completely pitch black. But there was a lot of construction on this road. So you know those like construction yellow and, I mean, orange and white barricades with a little like blinking orange light on them? You know what I'm talking about. There were fucking hundreds of these lining the streets. And it's completely black. So all I'm seeing is blinking fucking lights, like simultaneously, hundreds of them. I'm like, oh my God, this is fucking cool. Holy shit, like they're like blinking and because of the tracers they would like fade out slowly but blink again and they just look like these pulsating lights and like I'd walk by them and like the tracer like tracers and shit and I was just like, oh this is awesome. I was like literally loving everything. Nothing could go wrong. Everything was fucking awesome up until I heard this fucking cat. This fucking cat, dude. I'm walking, silent, loving it. Nirvana, beauty. 
apparent like this thing was either getting fucked balls deep in its ass or getting fucking murdered, but it was somewhere really close by and it sounded absolutely fucking terrifying and it went on and on and on. Meow, meow, meow. And I'm just like, oh, what the fuck? So I'm, now I'm kind of getting scared. Like, okay, I didn't really like that. And everything's completely dark. And these lights are now pissing me off. And I'm just like, fuck, dude. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go down this fucking alleyway. Great. Great idea. Walk down a dark alleyway. Now there's no blinking lights and there's dogs barking at me. And we all know why I'm a fucking afraid of dogs. And I'm like, God damn it. I am not going to have a bad trip. So I'm just like, whatever. So I keep walking, keep walking. You know, I'll put on some fucking music. I put on music. I'm trying to drift off. And then I'm listening to music, which is cool. I'm starting to calm down. I get to the end of the alleyway, I'm walking down the streets, which I thought were the way to go home, and now I do not know where the fuck I'm at. I'm lost. Don't know, I'm walking down cul-de-sacs like, uh, this isn't the right way. And then like, I'm out there for like literally most of my trip after this, like just walking, walking. Now I'm like, fuck dude, like, I'm scared. Like, I'm, 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 I'm not having a horrible, bad, like terrifying trip. It's just everything's so confusing, so intense. Like, I just kind of want to like lay down. So I like walk and I find this park, random fucking park, right? So I sit down there, and I'm just sitting on this bench looking at the sky. What the fuck am I going to do? And I'm just sitting there. I have headphones in there, turned down lightly. And then I think I hear something. So I take my headphones out. Someone was running behind me on this side, so I didn't hear them coming. And then uh, so I take my headphone out. They run by and say, good morning. And I'm like, oh, and I got up and literally fucking took off, dude. And I was like, oh, fuck this, dude. Fuck this. I was going to call him and be like, dude, I don't know where the fuck I'm at. I'm freaking out. But then he would have won. Fuck that. So I was like, huh. So I start walking. I'm walking and I go on. And I see like a main road. I'm like, all right, if I can find what fucking street this is, I'll know what to do. So I get out of the fucking bushes like a wild man in the night. And I see the AM, PM. Oh yeah, old school Icarus fans know that AM, PM I used to live by. I used to do oh, so many journeys there. I'm like, I know where the fuck to go. So I go home, start walking. Everyone's passed out drunk when I get here, which is cool. So I come in, turn on my light, kick back, and just reflect, deeply reflect. Like, man, that was crazy. But let me look within. And I got what I needed out of that trip because everything's change everything was changing in my life. Everything is still fucking changing in my life. And I just needed that higher state of mind, that guidance. And I found it, I found it, I found it, and I I found it. I needed that. It was fucking intense, incredible, it was weird. But that was pretty much my night. It was wild. It was really wicked. But um hope you guys enjoyed. Um a little bit about new beginnings in the beginning. I want to talk about the his the future of this channel and what's going on with me. I have realized something recently. I am a horrible alcoholic, and I admit that. And this whole New Year's resolution is to stop smoking, drinking, start eating healthy, and start working out. Hope for your vibes, because my drinking has gotten completely out of hand. It's really honestly why I don't post on YouTube anymore, is because I wake up and I drink. And then when I'm done with that one, for lunch I'll drink, and for dinner I'll drink, and I'll go to bed not knowing what the fuck happened, and I hate it. And I've tackled it, and I owe that to Big Brother Mushroom, psilocybin, for slapping me across the goddamn face and saying wake up. But the time is now. I'm going to focus more on what I want in life, which is this. I just want to talk about these beautiful tools, the life-changing, you know, conscious expanding properties of these tools, these teachers. And I've let poison interrupt that. And no more. No more. Fuck that. I'm done. I'm done with it. And I say this a lot, but more shit is coming very soon. Because what do I have look to look forward now? This. This. We're going up from here, baby. I'm your fearless leader, Icarus480. Say it with me wherever you are in the world. Peace, love, and smoke DMT. See you guys.